Alrighty guys, so some of you may have already seen already that I launched a Patreon account recently. Uh, so I wanted to share uh, some of my thoughts and hopes and dreams and reasons for starting this Patreon account as well as share a little bit about the types of content that I will be planning to include uh, for my new Patreon members. Uh, so, you know, when I started the Neurodivergent Rebel blog, it has been almost two years now, or it has been just over two years now, correction. I, it has been a little bit over two years since I joined Twitter, and that's where most of the traffic really started to get traction. Uh, and at that time, obviously, uh, I had way less uh, followers, and we had lots of great... Um, more uh, intimate discussions on Twitter and on Facebook, and I used to be able to read and check each and every single notification, and now I don't even think Twitter or Facebook, like, literally will store all of my notifications. Like, I don't think they all exist. I think it gets to a point where there are just so many, and then they're gone because there's just too many notifications. Uh, so... You know, at this point, it's it's kind of even impossible. Like, I used to read and respond to every single comment. Then it got to where I at least click like or acknowledge every single, single comment. And then, you know, in recent months, I've realized I don't think I even see every single comment. And I was really, really um, almost working myself to death. death, um, Not doing myself a service at all by trying so hard to stay on top of all of these notifications because it's just it's just impossible and it's overwhelming and I really wanted to uh, and for a while um, when I couldn't I felt like I was letting everybody down but it's just um, it's just gonna be impossible as things grow uh, so that brings me to growing and the patreon and why I really uh, did want to start a patreon for the neurodivergent rebel blog um, the blog has grown so much in two years. It is just incredible growth. It's more than I could have imagined. I, I, yeah, we have just come here so quickly and I am, I am so grateful for that. Uh, and you know, people sometimes forget that I am a one man, a one person shop, uh, and I, I also, you know, run a very, uh, have been running a very low budget blog until now. Uh, I use, you know, free video editing software and uh, use free programs whenever I can uh, to try and keep costs low. Uh, I don't have proper microphones, as many of you uh, often comment on, and you guys with audio and auditory sensitivities and sensitive hearing. Uh, I know the audio on my channel is not always great, so that's, you know, that one one list of many things, you know, that I want to hopefully offer someday. Um, I've got a lot of ideas and things that I just haven't been able to get to. Um, you know, just throwing us out there, I'd love to someday have a podcast. Uh, I want transcriptions for all of the content, including, like, backlogged content. I want closed captioning on all of the backlog content. It's on the current content, but I want closed captioning on everything. Um, you know, I want... I'll leave some things there, some prizes, but there's, like, I have a lot of ideas that I think are really exciting that you guys are going to love, uh, but I've just been spinning my wheels on them, so I'm hoping, you know, if the collaborative effort, we can get some traction, if we can really get uh, the Patreon taken to take off. Uh... And so the other things uh, with the Patreon, you know, what I'm trying to create would be uh, a little bit more of that smaller community feel like we had at the beginning when, or like I feel like I had at the beginning when I first uh, got on social media and when I first started reaching out to the community. And I, I want to have some of that feel. I have made a point that, you know, it's... The minimum donation per month is a dollar, and regardless of what you donate, uh, I've, I've said it's pay what you can. Every Patreon member, regardless of sponsorship level, will receive the same benefits. Uh, and the types of content that I'm going to be sharing in the Patreon group is going to be a different type of content than what I've been sharing publicly on my blog and my profile pages and YouTube. Uh, I will continue to put out the same content publicly as I have been 
So nothing is changing there for uh, users who have been accessing the public content. Um, but the new premium content will be a uh, different type of content. It will be a little bit more behind the scenes, personal, kind of um, more candid style conversations and content from me. It will also be uh, things that are not autism specific like uh, blogging uh, and social media, maybe even video editing tips, so things like that that don't necessarily fit uh, with this channel. I might also share some of those things that on Patreon as well. Uh, and then I'm hoping to really build that small community uh, of members where, you know, I really will, in Patreon, I will be reading and responding to all of the comments in, in the Patreon, for the Patreon members in my Patreon page, uh, which is something I, I miss being able to do with the other platforms. But I've, I finally just throw my hands up and I said, I can't, I had to give up. I had to. Um, but, you know, moving forward, you know, with the Patreon, I really hope, you know, it will be something that is of value to everyone who decides to join. Uh, and I, I hope, you know, that it will um, just continue to help uh, so that the public content that I've already been sharing can become better quality content and maybe, you know, eventually um, I will be able to start putting out even more public content because guys, I have so many project ideas, so, so many things I want to do, guys. And, um, yeah, I just hope this might be the thing to help just get the rest of the traction on that and get it going. So anyway, that's just, um, what's going on with the Patreon. I hope to see you in the group. Bye guys.